Twelve days before Christmas 1941, Winston Churchill secretly left London and came to the United States. The stated purpose of his mission was to discuss war plans with FDR, but the real goal was to encourage America. We had just experienced the devastating attack on Pearl Harbor. On Christmas Eve, thousands of people lined up along West Executive Avenue in Washington, D.C., waiting to go onto the South Lawn of the White House to see the lighting of the national Christmas tree, to sing carols, and to hear messages from FDR and Churchill. Having spent so much of the previous year in nighttime blackout conditions in London due to the German bombing, Churchill was deeply moved by the lighting of the tree. In his spontaneous remarks, he encouraged Americans to do all they could to make sure their children enjoyed the spirit of the evening before turning back to the stern work that lay before them. Work, he said, they undertook to assure that their children would be free. On the other side of the world, Adolf Hitler sat in his log cabin retreat in East Prussia, brooding over the fact that his advance on Moscow had stalled within sight of the Kremlin due to minus 35 degree weather. He had promised his generals that the war would be over by Christmas. Now he realized it was only beginning. He ordered his secretary to forego decorating a tree. And on Christmas Eve, Hitler dined alone under a stern portrait of Frederick the Great. Back at the White House, the British and American friends finished their state dinner. A group of Christmas carolers sang, O Little Town of Bethlehem. And the words uh, of that song captured the truth about how things were and the hope for how they could be. Yet in thy dark streets shineth the everlasting light. The hopes and fears of all the years are met in thee tonight. The world feels very dangerous these days. Old powers flex new muscles. New enemies employ tactics that redefine brutality. And our leaders seem incapable of solving the simplest domestic problems, much less the enormous geopolitical quagmires we face. It all feels so very old. And in that, oddly, there's hope. We may not have been exactly in this place before, but we have been in places like this more than once. Evil people have always been willing to kill to get what they want or keep what they have taken. It's not only the poor that we will always have with us, it's the wicked too. And sometimes they wield enormous power. Christmas is God's promise that the bullies of the world those who lead nations, or those who merely threaten neighborhoods, haunt school hallways, or, or sleep down the hall in our own homes, never have the last word. There is a light that always shines in the dark streets of our lives to light our hopes and chase our fears. The light has a name. His name is Jesus. Not a sermon, just a thought. <laughs>